Of course, the Department of Education is again seeking for 150 million in confidential funds. This, despite public criticism, the department needs to focus on more urgent problems. Uh, a recent Senate uh, hearing, of course, revealed that we lack 159,000 classrooms. What are your thoughts on this? Well, you know what? I just activated for Wednesday. So we just activated for September 6 a hearing on this, this special committee on uh, confidential funds. Um, we're going to activate it right before the discussions of the different okay. budgets of the um, um, government agencies. Uh, under this uh, select committee, uh, which is headed by myself, uh, Senator Joel Villanueva, Sani Angara, Bato de la Rosa, and uh, Coco Pimentel, so we'll have a member of the minority, uh, we are going to uh, look at all the confidential funds given in the last year's okay. budget. Hima hima hina minyan. At nanjan si Senator Coco. So may the head of the minority will be there. Okay. And we'll actually invite also other senators. I'll open it to other senators. Okay. So we'll open it also to Senator Visa to attend and other senators. But of course, it will be in a executive session okay. type because um, being that it's confidential funds, uh, being that it is uh, uh, what you call uh, intelligence funds. I do not malaman ng taong bayan na ano mga pinanggamitan nito for intelligence purposes, national security purposes. Mm -hmm. Kasi may national security concern yan eh. So, pag nakita po natin ng isang ahensya, katulad ng Department of Education, hindi maganda po ang paggamit nila ng pondo, mm -hmm. pwede tayo gumawa ng correcting measures for 2024. Okay. Diba? Pwedeng bawasan. Pwedeng ilipat sa ibang ahensya. Ako, personally, hindi ako maka makaintindi bakit 10 million lang ang intelligence funds ng Coast Guard. Yeah. Di ba? Napakalaki ng ibang ahensya. So maybe we can cut these agencies' intelligence, intelligence funds and give it to the Coast Guard or the Navy okay. or, or even BFAR para magamit nila sa uh, mga programs nila. There's a, there's a novel program of the BFAR wherein okay. they give free fuel subsidy to the fisher folk. Maganda yun. They have a big boat in the middle of the ocean giving free fuel subsidies to to our fisher folk, para hindi na sila kailangan bumalik ulit ng uh, 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 mainland para mag-refuel. They can, they, they can stay longer out in the, in the ocean. So, uh, these are fantastic programs that mm -hmm. I think uh, we should continue. That's why the Select Committee on Intelligence Funds mm -hmm. will be activated on Wednesday. Para, you're the first to know this. Okay. Uh, it will be activated on Wednesday para himayin namin yung panggastos nila dito sa confidential funds. We will make a collective decision. Kung nakita natin hindi maganda paggamit nila ito, inefficient, ineffective, then we can move the funds to where it's most needed. Okay, but SP of had, do you think the Department of Education, which is mandated, obviously is for education reforms, yes. needs 150 million in confidential funds? You know, I was one of those who voted in favor of the budget. So at that point in time, maganda yung explanation ng Secretary of the Department of Education. Pero ang, ang kolatilya namin, hihimayin namin yan sa, sa susunod na taon, which is now. So kung nakita natin na hindi maganda paggamit nila nun, malay mo, baka ginamit nila yun for classroom repairs, baka ginamit nila yun for, for uh, uh, purchase of books and other items for, for indigent uh, students in the mountainous regions of the Philippines. Kaya titignan muna namin. I can't give you that answer until we review okay. the uh, confidential funds submitted to us uh, to the Senate.